Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across a Bluetooth error message that says the device does not have Bluetooth. Bluetooth is not available on this device. Please try using an external adapter to add Bluetooth capability to this computer. So, it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, first thing, I would recommend actually making sure your computer can and will support Bluetooth. So if you don't have Bluetooth device on your computer, you may need to go ahead and purchase an adapter and you could have it using a USB port, for example. You just could plug it in and then you have Bluetooth capability. So that's certainly a possibility. So just want to put that out there. Something else that we can look into if you're pretty sure you do have Bluetooth and if you go into device manager, for example, and you notice that you have a Bluetooth section in here, then that's probably a good sign that you actually do have Bluetooth enabled on your device. With that said, we're going to go ahead and open up the search menu. Type in control panel, best match, should come back with control panel. Let's go ahead and open that up. Set your view by to large icons, and then you want to select power options. Select on the left side where it says choose what the power button does, and underneath shut down settings, if you have an option for fast startup, you want to go ahead and uncheck that option to disable it, and then you would select Save Changes. And then once you've done that, something else we can look into here as well. If you open up the search menu and type in Services, Best Match, or come back with Services, go ahead and open that up. Locate the Bluetooth Support Service, and double-click on it. You want to go ahead and stop the service if it's currently running. Set startup type to automatic, and then select start for, to start the service back up. And then select apply and OK. And then something else we can try here as well, open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I'm going to have a couple commands in the description of my video, guys. Go ahead and copy the first one. It's a DISM scan. So go ahead and copy that, and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here, right-click on it, select Edit, and paste that in. Hit Enter to begin that scan. Just give this a couple minutes to run. Okay, so once that one is done running, go ahead and copy the second command in the description of my video. It's the system file checker utility. And then go to the top bar of the command prompt window once again, right click on it, select edit and paste that in. Hit enter to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient.
Okay, so once that's concluded, go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. Hopefully this point or issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Dubai was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.